too, would you, brother? I'm going to thank God for the food and leave some for me. I'll be back soon. Aren't you going to wait? I want to hear what he's saying. Well, you don't have to be there. I am one of the worst sinners. I lied, I stole, I cheated, I gambled, I whored, I drank, and persecuted, tortured, and murdered. Yes, murdered! I killed anyone who broke the law of Moses. And I loved it. I enjoyed it. I relished it. I reveled in it. Because I thought I was doing God's will. I thought I was doing God's will. And the high priest of Jerusalem sent me to the city of Damascus to scourge that city. And on the road to Damascus, just outside the city, in the middle of the day, I was struck by a white light that blinded me. Yes. And I heard a voice say, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Why are you against me? Who are you, I said. And the voice said, Jesus. And he made me see. I was led helpless like a child into a city that I was sent to scourge. And God sent me Ananias instead. And he put his hands on me. And I opened my eyes. And I was baptized and became Paul. And now I bring the good news to you. It's about Jesus of Nazareth. He was not the son of Mary. He was the son of God. His mother was a virgin. And the angel Gabriel came down and put God's seed in her womb. That's how he was born. And he was punished for our sins. Our sins. Then he was tortured and crucified. But three days later, he rose up from the dead and went up to heaven. Death was conquered. Amen. Do you understand what that means? He conquered death. All of our sins were forgiven. And now the world of God is open to every one of us, to everybody. Did you ever see this Jesus of Nazareth after he came back from the dead? I mean with your own eyes. No, but I saw a light that blinded me. And I heard his voice. You're a liar. His disciples saw him. They were hiding in an attic with the doors locked. And he appeared to them. Liar. He's a liar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. I was never crucified. I never came back from the dead. I'm a man like everybody else. Quiet. Why are you telling these lies? What are you talking about? I'm the son of Mary and Joseph. I'm the one who preached in Galilee. I had followers. We marched on Jerusalem. Pilate condemned me, and God saved me. No, he didn't. Who are you talking about? Don't try and tell me what happened to me, because I know. I live like a man now. I work, eat, have children. I enjoy my life. For the first time, I'm enjoying it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't go around telling lies about me, or I'll tell everybody the truth. Just a minute. What's the matter with you? Look around you. Look at all these people. Look at their faces. Do you see how unhappy they are? Do you see how much they're suffering? Their only hope is the resurrected Jesus. I don't care whether you're Jesus or not. The resurrected Jesus will save the world, and that's what matters. Those are lies. You can't save the world by lying. I created the truth out of what people needed and what they believed. If I have to crucify you to save the world, then I'll crucify you. And if I have to resurrect you, then I'll do that too, whether you like it or not. I won't let you. I'll tell everyone the truth. <laughs> Go ahead. Go on. Tell them now. Who's going to believe you? You started all this. Now you can't stop it. All those people who believe me will grab you and kill you. No, that wouldn't happen. How do you know? You see, you don't know how much people need God. You don't know how happy he can make them. He can make them happy to do anything. He can make them happy to die, and they'll die. All for the sake of Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus of Nazareth. 
the Son of God, the Messiah. Not you. Not for your sake. You know, I'm glad I met you. Because now I can forget all about you. My Jesus is much more important and much more powerful. Thank you. It's a good thing I met you. 